So, Magneto's on our Moto Bay Kings. This one here has got two coil, 6 and 12 volt. The other version uh, is, is uh, a 3 coil, 6 and 12 volt. Those are the ones people just call 12 volt. Here's the difference. Okay. This, of course, is gray wire. That's for your ignition. This first terminal, it's got a larger spade on it. That's 6 volt. And this terminal here, with the smaller spade on it, is a 12 volt. This 12 volt has got its own coil on a two coil system. The 6 volt is the negative end of the ignition exciter coil. So, if you do not have an accessory hooked up to him, what you want to do is you want to run a jumper cable from here to a carter bolt. And what that little jumper cable does, will, that'll complete the circuit so that you will make spark. And if you have a two coil, and you don't have anything hooked up to that six volt, you will not get a spark unless someone has swapped out the coils for another coil. Just take this engine off the jig here. And we flip her around so you can see. There we go. We got just the two coils here. No third coil left. You can also see that the offending condenser is being removed from this, uh, this bugger already. So now, on this side of the, uh, on the inside of the generator, this is the two coil. This top one here, the yellow coil, that's for ignition, and also the 6 volt accessory port. One end of the wire goes to the points, and then the points speed up the gray wire. The other end of the coil comes out here. Without that end grounded to anything, this will not make any electricity in there at all. The second it's grounded, it will make electricity. If, as they had intended, it goes down to your tail light bulb, and then the tail light bulb is grounded, then it will make electricity. Bottom coil here, green coil, its only purpose in life is to generate 12 volts uh, for your uh, accessories, lights and all sorts of things like that. Usually the horns, uh, the Novi phones, are 6 volt and they also run off that 6 volt port. On this, this is the uh, same idea. Just removed from the engine, gives you a little bit more clarity. It's uh, our ignition, gray ignition wire, 6 volt and 12 volt. The same thing, large terminal, small terminal. On the business side of it now, this blue wire that's just kind of dangling, uh, that comes out of the uh, condenser. That's our condenser wire. Uh, that is uh, just loose because I don't hook up that condenser, I use an external uh, condenser. This gray uh, uh, coil on top here, its only purpose is to energize that 6 volt. This blue wire, uh, this blue coil, sorry, at the bottom, its only purpose in life is to generate your 12 volt uh, uh, accessory. And uh, this one bridging the two of them, this is your ignition coil on the three coils. All that does is just do the ignition uh, exciting. It, uh, it doesn't do anything else. The ground is actually right there at the end of the coil. You can see it's, uh, it's uh, soldered to the, uh, the actual coil itself. So these ones, you do not have to run that jumper in order to get a spark. If you just have a regular uh, 6 volt, uh, the old uh, uh, system with the external coil. Uh, the top coil is for lights and the bottom coil is for ignition. Um, on the ones without the external coil, which are old, 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 
uh, two coils. The, the top one is ignition and the bottom one is your accessory uh, coil. And uh, that's about it for the, uh, the coils.